stages. We have to work out how to use them. Camera equipment, we are set. We were introduced to our ranger Francis, who gave us an initial briefing and told us we'd be visiting the family called Kuryama. Kuryama means sleepy and is the key trait of the dominant silver bat. Then it was off to the trail to start our trek. The first section of the walk was through farmland, but was pretty steep. Hiring porters and walking sticks was a good move. So we're about to enter the National Park. Obviously there's all the excitement for the gorillas, but what I had encountered on is how absolutely beautifully scenic the walk is up here. Walking through farmlands, past farmhouses, fields, people working the fields, little kids. It's really, really good. From here, into National Park, about an hour away. So uh, let's go and do it. Okay, this is where things get serious. We've got the gaiters, we've got the gloves. Our guide Francis is uh, getting all serious. He doesn't uh, like the stinging nettles either. You've got to be prepared. We're heading into the jungle. At that point, we've got to leave all of our stuff here. The gorillas are up ahead. Only take our cameras, no food and drink. Uh, leave our bags behind here. Go into the jungle. See if we can see ourselves a gorilla or two. Within minutes, we came face to face with the silverback. Just sitting here in the jungle as these incredible animals settle down after their feed and have a little nap. Just sharing their space. It is a fantastic, well, words can't describe it. It is an amazing feeling, absolutely amazing. Turns out, not everybody was keen for a nap.
So that was the mountain gorillas. What, a, what an incredible experience. That will stay with me for a long, long time. What I like most about this place though is that they do tourism right. The gorilla permits are expensive and so they should be. They're limited to 80 people that can come uh, up here any one day. And each gorilla family, there's only 10 of them that are open to visitors. And a maximum of eight people can go up and they can spend one hour with them. That's it. Then the gorillas are left, left alone. And all of the people that help you along the way, the porters, the trackers, the rangers, are all people from the local area here. It's about providing employment. And it's about doing tourism right and not ruining the very thing that people come to see. So that's why there should never ever be mass tourism here. This isn't a mass tourism thing. Um, it is something that should be savoured in a small group and it should be protected. And really that's what we're all about at Bunny Tours and, and that's why I really, really like that. Um, I love this place, it's been a, been a fantastic one. To visit Rwanda and experience the magic of the gorillas, visit bunnictours.com.au